So, uh, do, do you enjoy? Does it ever get old beating Texas? Man, never gets old. There were those who felt the game was over before the bands entered the Cotton Bowl. I think Oklahoma's playing at a level no one else playing at. I think Bob Stoops and his staff are the best coaching staff in the country, and I think then there's everybody else. Bob Stoops credited for winning the big ones, the trophy games. Mac Brown with the reputation of faltering in the big contests. When you come down to games like this, it always comes down to the teams that make the fewest mistakes ends up winning. Coach Stoops has them really, you know, on course and they're focused and they're doing the right thing. So, but who would have thought we would have a record breaker? Can you believe that score? Uh, you look up there and see 65-13. Do you ever think that would happen? Uh, you never think things like that would happen. But when you got a group of guys like we got, you know, and just how hard we work and just the work ethic we put into it. You know, anything's possible. You feel over this four-year skid that you've been outcoached by Bob Stoops? I, I don't know. Bob's done a great job, and he's a great coach. So, I don't know. Always want to compliment Texas. I'm sure they feel they'd like to have uh, played better. Um, way too much uh, negative uh, press, I think, back and forth with, with two programs that are very good. It was a close first half. Both teams trading touchdowns. Ronaldo works for Oklahoma. Cedric Benson for Texas, it was 7-7. Jason White connected on his first touchdown pass to break the 7-7 tie. J.D. Runnels on the reception, it was White's first of four touchdown connections. But what started as a close game turned into the route right here. Vincent Young's fumble at the OU3, recovered by Derek Strait. For Strait, two fumble recoveries and an interception. Derek, can you comment though on what uh, Mac Brown said, he said that, uh, that Texas had recruited you. Yeah, they, they recruited me. I mean, uh, by me being down there in Austin and whatnot, they recruited me. But, I mean, I, I, it's just when I took my recruiting trip down to Oklahoma and, and the other places, I just felt more at home when I went to Oklahoma. I mean, the coach and staff, all those guys made me feel at home. And, and then I felt, I, had, I felt like I had a better opportunity of playing right away. So everything's kind of worked out for me. But the biggest of the six Texas turnovers occurred right here. Dusty Dvorak with the deflection, Jonathan Jackson with the interception. 30 yards later, it was 27-7. Yeah, I saw him going to throw. I just, I was right next to him. I jumped up, uh, batted the ball down, and uh, of course, went right in JJ's hands. Kind of uh, reminded, kind of reminded me of the play from two years ago. I mean, it was just kind of, I guess, a little sooner magic. Uh, it was pretty neat, and JJ got to take it in for the score. Oh, I just turned around. It, it kind of was in my hands. It, it more surprised me than anything. Uh, it was a great win. I mean, I was just blessed to come out here and have a good game. It was, it was a lot of fun. Vincent Young, Texas's future at quarterback, showed promise. His 27-yard touchdown cut the lead to 27-13. But what would turn out to be the reflection of this contest, the extra point hit the upright, and it was downhill from there. OU tacked on 10 points in the last two minutes of the half. Will Peoples caught White's second touchdown pass. But it was Mark Clayton's yards after catch efforts that was the difference in turning short games into longer games. He would have eight catches, 190 yards. Mark's uh, play tonight was, uh, I'm, I'm always watching him, uh, loving how he competes. You've heard me talk about it a lot. He competes for the football, he competes when he has it. Um, I'm watching out there today just shaking my head, uh, just watching him beat people, uh, run with the football, compete for extra yards. Uh, Mark just had an incredible, uh, incredible night. And, um, but it's not surprising to me. I've seen him. He, he's uh, incredibly talented and runs great routes and takes a lot of pride in catching everything. White to Jawan Rankins for his third touchdown pass of the game. Mark Clayton was a spark for OU on the receiving end. Jason White was a spark throwing the football. And when they needed it most, they came up with some great defense, forcing turnovers. And then in the second half, it was the running game that put the game away. The only question is, would Oklahoma score for the fourth game in a row, over 50 points? Ronaldo Works took care of that. Fortunately, uh, offensive line, you know, uh, Jamal Brown, Davin, everybody, all of them, West Sims, they all went out and they blocked well, uh, just gave it all they got. 
What turned out to be a perfect way to put the icing on the cake, White to Clayton. It made Clayton's day complete. It made Jason White's campaign for the Heisman Trophy a little stronger. You gotta start talking Heisman. I think uh, the Heisman's an ultimate team goal. And, you know, these guys, uh, especially this one sitting beside me here, you know, they get, they get, you know, they should get the credit. They do the hard work. I'm just doing my job. The offensive line, they're doing, you know, they're doing their job. So I think it's the ultimate team goal besides the national championship. And, you know, if, if that's what y'all, you know, y'all also want to vote on that. So if that's what y'all want to do, yeah, that's fine. And if there is any such thing as a good headache to have. Um, it's never easy to coach. I think I'm as wore out today as I've ever been. I, I had to take about eight aspirin during the game. So it's never easy. Um, uh, forcing turnovers, creating big plays on offense, defense. Uh, it's exciting. It's part of the game. And fortunately, we have guys that stepped up and made them. I told the guys to handle it. Um, I know they don't like it. It's a, a tough position for us to be in. It's a game that's really important to us. It's a game that's really important to our fans, and, and we didn't play well in it. So what we've got to do is go back and, and try to get back to 5-2 and two next week against Iowa State on the road. Does it fit? Oh, yeah, it fit. It fit real good. <laughs> I think it was a statement game, but no, we got a couple more statement games left in us.